have always been into art in some sort of sense since I was tiny. My grandmother's really artistic. I think my earliest memories of like, drawing, painting, and, and, and working with watercolors and different kind of mediums was with her. When I was really, really young, that was just something we did together. Um, so we would like go out to the beach and, and she'd have pastels. And we would draw the sunset and stuff like that. And it was, it's, it's probably one of the more comforting memories, <laughs> a, a very comforting memory for me. I think I've always been drawn to darker um, imagery and magic and wizards and dragons and all of that kind of stuff. Since I also since I was pretty young, fantasy and folklore stuff. I think there's this connection to the past. You know, like um, I think a lot of it's influenced by just medieval history and all these really old stories that people have been telling in different ways for forever, you know, since ancient times. And I, I think I'm always one, I'm one of those people that always has felt like maybe I was born in, in the wrong time. I think there's something really healthy about maybe being able to connect to death through art um, because we're, we're, not as, we're not as connected with it in the way that maybe our, our distant ancestors were. energy you put into getting tattooed, you know, sacrifice you're making with your body. It is just this ultimate act of love for something. Even if you come in and you tell the tattoo artist to do whatever they want, you don't have all of this deep story and meaning wrapped up in it. You're still showing your love for art and you're still um, showing your love for tattoos. You know, it's really powerful. There is, there is a deep magic in that, especially with so many people doing it now. So many people proclaiming their love and devotion for things and people and all of us doing that in the collective at the same time. Um, I think there's a big energy behind that and it's something that we all need to be doing. <laughs>